Welcome to the 10th episode of Blue Green Fusion, Blue Collar Jobs for a Green Economy. I'm the host, Lee McQueen, and I'm broadcasting live from the Des Moines Amplified Studios. If you're interested in sending a comment to the show, you can go to Des Moines Amplified.com and comment there. Um, today is pretty much a public policy potpourri not really one topic for the show, but just a general discussion of what we talked about in the previous nine shows, and then um, a little headline or update of what's going to be happening in the next episode, which is very exciting, um, something I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, I always, um, when I was younger, I always kind of said to myself, nothing ever happens in Des Moines. I'm a native of Des Moines. I was born here. I went to Des Moines public schools uh, when they were, you know, really, really uh, on top. And so I'm really grateful for that opportunity that my parents gave me to get a quality education uh, in the public school system here in Iowa. Um, and I kind of said to myself, I need to get out and see the world. Um, I've come back and I'm looking at my hometown with new eyes and I'm just amazed about. Um, all the opportunity, all the news and information and events that take place here, both in election season and out of election season here too. I will not take my hometown for granted anymore. <laughs> There's always something around the corner and so information's all around us and if we keep our eyes open um, to what's in the news, on television, on radio, on the internet, and then our hard copy news that we get in newsprint, our journals that we publish here in the state of Iowa and that we get from other places, we'll, and, and even just general conversations that we have with professionals in the fields in which we have interest. I mean, there's just never a dull moment. So I'm really glad um, to be able to comment on what happens in Des Moines. And, you know, I don't know fully the range of the audience that Des Moines Amplified.com has or even Blue Green Fusion, but I'm hoping that I'm reaching people within the city limits in the suburbs and then perhaps in the wider area of the Midwest and then expatriates, um, Iowa expatriates, wherever they've chosen to settle, whether it's, um, you know, in southern states or in other countries. I'm just really glad to be able to reach the world via this uh, studio. It's just a wonderful opportunity. Um, along those lines, I also wanted to make, uh, if you've watched Blue Green Fusion, you know that we start off with announcements and then go to headlines and then a topic of the show. And so today will be something similar. We'll start with um, some announcements. Um, Solaris Sun, the renewable energy sim suspense novel that I wrote on solar um, has been added to Drake Library. I mentioned that in the previous show, but I just wanted to say go Bulldogs and thank you so much Drake University for your faith and trust in me. I consider it an honor to rest my thoughts on your shelves. Um, Winterset Public Library just purchased a copy of my Writer in the Library book and I'm really grateful for that. Um, this is John Wayne's birthplace, and I'm just excited that my book is finding an audience um, in the Midwest. Uh, this is the first reference nonfiction that I've ever uh, written for McQueen Press, and I'm just glad that it's still going strong two years after publication. Uh, more on that, Chicago Public Library added a second copy of Writer in the Library to their collections, and I just want to say, wow, <laughs> and thank you very much, Chicago Public Library. I'm just thrilled. I really am. I'm also very thrilled to report that Bill Stowe, William G. Stowe, is going to be a guest of Blue Green Fusion next week. He's the assistant manager and then also director of public works for the city of Des Moines. And like I mentioned before, if you want to get... Um, real information, real information, <laughs> I guess all information is real, but if you want to get the skinny on what happens in Des Moines in, in terms of public works, um, it's best to go to um, someone who's uh, involved in, in that work, and I'm just really interested in 
what we can learn, me as well as you, the audience, if you send in your questions, I've received a few already um, to me via um, email, and that can come to me on my Twitter. You can um, post it to my Twitter, which is Lee McQueen3. You can also go to my Facebook page, um, which is McQueen Press on Facebook. You can go to Des Moines Amplify.com and look for Lee McQueen as the host or Blue Green Fusion, the show name, and then send your um, email question that way. You can go to my official website, which is McQueenPress.com, um, and send your question to me that way. I did get an inquiry whether I would be um, publishing names or speaking the name of the person who sends in the question, no. I won't. Um, that's why the questions would be coming through me. Um, I, I feel that um, sometimes people are a little bit more open with their curiosity if they know that there won't be any um, potential for judgment or retaliation. Um, hopefully it won't be like that. Um, but no, I will not be um, um, posting your name or speaking your name on the air. But just generally, if you're curious about public works, um, planning, not planning, but um, stormwater management, which is actually going to be the topic of the show, um, things like that, definitely go ahead and send those in to me. In the meantime, if you are still somewhat fuzzy on the subject of stormwater management or what the public works department for the city of Des Moines does, you can go to dm.gov for information. All of their information is online. There's not really a lot of um, brochures uh, you know, to be had. So if you are curious, um, best to go online to find that information. I'm going to go ahead and make another announcement. This is something very interesting. Um, I'm interested in urban planning and sustainability and transportation and infrastructure. Uh, renewable energy and topics in construction and topics like that. Um, and that topic is actually interesting to a lot of people, I'm finding. Um, it looks like um, I received to my email a visioning survey, and it's um, coming for the Capitol Crossroads. It's a vision for Greater Des Moines and Central Iowa. And I'm going to actually put what the website looks like. Um, this is the entry page for that survey. <laughs> um, if you go to www.capitalcrossroadsvision.com, that's capitalcrossroadsvision.com, you'll see uh, that website and uh, there's a link at the top that you can click for survey and you can go in there and take their survey. And I'll go ahead and read a little bit more about it because um, we've expressed a lot of opinions about um, what should happen or what it, Des Moines should look like or what should we do, what should we not do. And I'm always encouraging people to um, stand up for their beliefs and make their voices heard. This is a way to do that. There are several other ways that I'm going to mention too. But this is one way. Um, the vision planning process is a comprehensive, inclusive, and forward-seeking effort to build regional consensus on the future of Central Iowa. The project is being led by tri-chairs, Angela Connolly, Polk County, J. Barry Griswell, Community Foundation of Greater Des Moines, and Kara Hayden, and she's apparently with, or actually the next um, entity is Wells Fargo Home, Home Mortgage. And this online survey is open and available to being um, in a 50 mile radius of the Iowa State Capitol. Um, and that and those are for persons who have an interest in public and in public and quality of life planning in their community. So it's a private public uh, inquiry sent out. And so this is one way if you've been ruminating on Des Moines or Central Iowa in the beauty parlor, um, in the barber shop, or um, just shooting the breeze or at the water cooler where you work. Um, this is one way to translate that into putting your feelings into words and figures for uh, these entities to act on. 